31 years is a long time. 31 years is a long time, and it's a little surreal. Um, but we've earned it and we deserve it. Our guys have worked their tails off, and some of these guys have been with me for four years. Um, through some lean years, my first year, second year was a COVID year, so challenging not only on us, but challenging on the world. Um, and then last year, we kind of have our breakout year with a 16 or 13 record. And, you know, now we're on the other side of that with uh, a MEAC regular season title and a MEAC, you know, tournament title. You have dreams at the beginning of the season. Does the reality now stand up to the dream? <laughs> it, it, it does, but for me, it's always a work in progress. Like, what's next? Like, how can we figure out how to do something better? What needs to be done? Uh, is there recruiting? Is there a film to watch? Is there things I can be doing with my players? Like, what are those things that we can continue to push the envelope with to make the program better? So for me, it's a very difficult challenge for me to turn it off. Right. And then this special group, how has it been for this group? You talked about all your years, the like years. This group, what was special about this group? It's still not finished playing, but what's special about this group? Well, I think a few things. One is their commitment. Um, they have been committed as any guys that have been around. They've sacrificed. They've sacrificed. Um, I think a big part of it is their resiliency. Um, we have a lot of guys that have played some big time high school ball, and some guys that have won uh, on the Division One level at our program. Being last year from before our guys that were first year guys, um, but our guys that come from other programs like the Jelani Williams or Kobe Dixon from from uh, Penn and, and from Cornell. So our guys have now understand what it takes to win. And uh, you know, I think they're very confident as well. Coach, what's it mean when you see alumni, a lot of you famous, posting on social media, the H U you know? I mean, you hear it in the gym, but now to see it coast to coast all over the nation, sports really does bring out the best in all of us. But to see it now and to know that your team is the catalyst for some of this current joy, what is that? Well, it's part of the big picture for me. Yeah, it's yeah, what I thought yeah, it could be when I first took the job. Gotcha. Um, so it was all part of the plan. And I talked about like igniting the campus, igniting uh, the Howard community, igniting the black community around our brand. Because what would our world be without Howard? Yeah, yeah. So when the, when the name came up, a couple of, one of your players is from Kansas said, yo, I ain't scared. A lot of people said I ain't scared. They, you guys have been battle tested. You've been through so much. You just gotta play the game. So, are you excited as much as you know working through all the strategic stuff? Is there a part of you that's excited to go up against Kansas? Absolutely. <laughs> to have our brand matched up with their yeah. brand, to be on that stage, um, what a wonderful opportunity we have in front of us. Folks, thank you so much. Thank